All right, we're back here in Antelope for the second half of the Delaro High School freshman boys basketball versus Antelope High School boys freshman basketball. Start of the third period, the score 25 Antelope, 20 Delora. We left the first half. Delora making a little bit of a run, battling a 10 point deficit, boys, cutting it to a five. Let's go, Delora! It's going to be Delora's ball inbound as Antelope on the tip. And here we go. There it is. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, great. What? You can't teach height. Come on, guys. <laughs> All right, so we got a technical foul called against Antelope. right there. All right, it's going to be Delora's basketball. Tell you what, Antelope's defense has been setting up a lot of look at that. Setting up a lot of turnovers, which have led to fast break points. Timeout, Del Oro. Coach Rowe's calling for a full. 6-10 left in the third period. Antelope took our little run and said no. And they are up by nine. 31 to 22. We'll be back. And we're back. Del Oro inbounding the ball. 6-08 left in this third period. Antelope stealing the ball. Good trail on defense. Oh man. Yeah. Third period, 31 Antelope, 22 Del Oro. 
Del Oro in black. Shot clock's down to nine. Del Oro playing good defense, not giving them anything real easy. Good D again. Great hustle, rebound, and finish. I'm gonna tell you this right now, Del Oro's just getting beat on pure hustle. Pure hustle. Carter ties it up, that's gonna be a jump ball. Total group substitution right now. It's gonna be in a little ball. Good help. Watch back. Good help, good help, good help. Rotate, rotate. Great take. Jump ball, that's gonna be Deloro basketball. Antelope's hungry for it. They're fighting for every possession. trips to the dentist's office that have been less stressful than this game. We are just getting out hustled, out fought. This reminds me of a boxing match where one guy comes to box. Out of baby Mason. Mason taking advantage of their defense falling asleep. And Antelope hitting the three. Good shot. Good shot. Brings it to within 10. Going up on, that's going to be on Drew. Two shots. Yeah, it was behind the basket. Yeah.
Antelope capitalizes on both attempts. Great take, Cruz. We need more of that. Great ball move by Antelope. Hitting the open swing man. Nailing another three. Adisu did a great job rebounding. Go oh, does a great job tying it up. What? Gone to obscurity now. Great jump stop. Oh! Great jump stop. Dollar of basketball. And that's going to be the end of the third period. Score 45 Antelope, 28 Del Oro. And we will be back for the start of the fourth. And here we go, start of the fourth period. Antelope is up 45 to 28. Baby boys checked in. We got the Mullet Brothers on the floor at the same time. We got Baby Mullet number five. And Big Chungus Mullet number 30. Good box out, good box out. And that's going to be a 30 second timeout antelope. They can't handle the mullets. That's what's going on.
<laughs> we'll be back right after this. And we're back. 721 left in the fourth period. Antelope is up 45 to 28 against Del Oro. We're here at the home of the Titans, Antelope Titans. Baby boy getting the ball. We have foul. Jordan, don't pick up your dribble. Violation white. Don't pick up your dribble, Jordan. Don't pick up your dribble. Attack. Go to the ball! Oh. Hit it! Hit it! Dude, what game are you watching? Shooting two. Uh, 513 left in the fourth period. Antelope is up. Antelope is up 55 to 30, five minutes left. Good rebound, go back up. There it is. Get into it. 
two of them. Watch out! Break that one. There you go. Get on the floor. Get on the floor. Good job, Mullet Brothers! Go Carter! Go Carter! Oh, son of a... Son of a biscuit eater! He's gonna be foul Carter Erickson. We got 4.05 left in the fourth period, left in the game. Antelope is up 56 to 34. Del Oro just did not wake up this morning. Antelope doing a great job defensively. Their defense set up a lot of their offense. It was a layup drill from the from pretty much second period on. Del Oro just telegraphing their passes. Lack of hustle. It's like we got punched in the face and didn't didn't want to fight back. Jake with a great move. Oh, had him on the backside. Good take. Carter with a great rebound. Finding Jake. Rebound! Where's that rotation? Where's that rotation? Opportunity. Should be shooting two with the line. <laughs> Antelope making a substitution. We need to be pressing if we got any shot about getting back into this game. Wow, we're standing around watching. Standing around watching the rebound instead of actually getting in a position to get it, guys. Jake for three.
shot going up. Jackson going in. And we're reaching the two minute mark. We got a minute and 50 left in the ball game. And it's gonna be turnover antelope. That'll be Del Oro basketball. Jake knows what to do. Ooh. Great take. Oh, great pass. Great assist, half court assist. Good strong take. Going up shooting too. Got a minute and 10 left in this game. Delaware down by 19. This will go down as a loss for the Eagles, their first loss of the season. After today, we will be four and one. And we got a foul. Number 34. <laughs> Substitutions all the way around here. Oh, good steal by Jake. Focus on the make, Jake. Focus on the make. Don't worry about getting the hand one. Set the shot clock. So, Antelope will have 15 more seconds to shoot. We got 26 seconds left in this game. Scores 59 to 40. Delaro down by 19. Good D, good D. Pokes away, black ball. Whoever's running the shot clock, man, I'm telling you, adding a lot of unnecessary stress. Four seconds left. This is all just a formality. Good pass. Oh, good pass. Oh. That last play just basically sums up our our Saturday morning. Del Oro takes their first loss of the year. 
a great game by Antelope from the start. Great defensively. Our boys just did not wake up. Uh, Antelope was very, very physical. All around great game. Good luck to JV and Varsity as they come here and try to make some noise themselves. This is Zeke Johnson saying goodbye from Antelope. Final score, 59 to 40. Antelope over Del Oro.